excuse the mess, have a chair. All right. Tuesday sitting on my ass, yeah, sitting on my ass. Now so much time has passed, just sitting on my ass. I ain't getting up for nothing, no, not a chance. Stay right here sitting on my ass. All right. So you want to know how to live cheaply on the road. You know, a lot of people ask me that question. Don't have one particular answer I can give you. I can give you some ideas. If you have wood around, start a fire. Sitting outside, start a fire. Uh, you need car insurance or RV insurance. Start a fire. Sitting outside, start a fire. Wood does cost money, though. About as much as propane does. But car insurance is a must. And, you know, mindset. Get in a mindset. Say, I only have this much to live on. I'm going to make it happen. Start a fire. Sometimes that don't work. But a lot of times it does. Okay, now we're going to move on to gas. And I don't know what's next. 1965, Reddale. Done. Gone. Start a fire. They have lost every single thing in this bus. Sitting outside, start a fire. Is that... If you come out here, you don't travel that much. Stay on government land so you're not paying for parks. Sitting outside, start a fire if it's legal to start one. Go to a national park, start a fire. Learn to boondock, start a fire. Learn to get by with what you have. So, people, when you get out on a road, make sure you have your nest egg. Or as much of one as you can. Because you never know when things are going to happen. When things are going to break down. And try to keep that nest egg somewhere where you won't be inclined to use it for something else. But you know what? If you was to put back five, ten dollars a week, it's all going to add up. Like a good boy scout or girl scout, always be prepared come in another video people uh you're gonna be called a bum that's i have been called a bum and a hobo so many times it's terrible now you're gonna have them people saying i'm an e-bagger now you're gonna have them people saying i'm an e-bagger i'm gonna cut to the chase i'm gonna start a fundraiser being a youtube creator it's hard work you have a poverty mentality See, you could be spending that exact same amount of time creating something that would actually add value to the universe, add value to our country, and ultimately add value to yourself. Tuesday sitting on my ass, yeah, sitting on my ass. Now so much time has passed, just sitting on my ass. I ain't getting up for nothing, no, not a chance. Stay right here sitting on my ass.